is going on guys, it's your boy Sue here, brings a Photoshop tutorial, brings a cool little hologram text effects tutorial here today. So you guys really been enjoying my text effects tutorials, I saw the one we did with uh, the Plexus one was the latest one that we did, which was absolutely insane, we had so, I had so many amazing comments, and almost like 500 likes on that freaking video, which was absolutely, like it was insane, like thank you guys so much, I really appreciate that. So I'm going to bring you guys today this cool little hologram, uh, like pixel particle dissolving looking effect, I think it looks really gosh darn cool, and I want to show you guys how to do it really badly, because I actually had a effect like this in photo uh, in Cinema 4D, right? So you, I actually did a tutorial on, it was called like hologram effect uh, in Cinema 4D and I have it actually on my tutorial list wherever somewhere in my videos, but I actually had that in Cinema 4D. I was really wondering if I was able to do it in Photoshop, so I just played around with some effects and I found out what effect I needed to use and it's pretty darn easy. It's just basically me using the uh, filter effect to distort uh, ripple, so it's really awesome. So I want to show you guys how to do this right now. So don't forget, guys, 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. And do not forget, if you guys have any tutorials you want to request, you can either comment it down below or at me at SSOHQ and ask for the tutorial. Maybe like you know, link me something that you want to see, and I'll probably like make it my own and try to figure out how to do something cool with it. And then hopefully I can do a tutorial on it for you guys. I've had a lot of requested tutor uh, tutorials, but all these little text effects are nice original effects that I've created. So it's also pretty cool as well for me to like express some cool little things I can do. All right, so let's get going right now. So pretty much all you're gonna need is, uh, of course, you're gonna need a cool font. So the one I'm gonna be using today, and the one I also used in the example was Montrax. So the MO, you can see it up here actually. Uh, oops, I just didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's M-O-N-T-R-O-C. So I'm pretty sure you can find it on defont.com or something like that. I'm just gonna type the word text in here. And we will go ahead and make this white for now. All right, cool. So pretty much when you have a cool little font, um, and you have the text already set. All you got to do is make sure you, you you're gonna want to do this. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna remind you in the uh, the middle of the video, like if you made sure you gotta duplicate it. So once you have your text here, make sure you duplicate it so you have the text all ready to go. I wouldn't move it or anything. You won't have to move anything really uh, that we're doing in the tutorial. So please don't move it. Uh, that'll help out in the you know the end of the video as well. Um, so pretty much we're gonna just use this as a backup. This is gonna I'm gonna call this backup actually. Boom, backups, and then pretty much we have this text here duplicated, so now we can get started. So, once you have that duplicated layer, we're going to right-click rasterize this layer. This will allow us to actually put effects on the text layer without actually, oh, excuse me, when, make sure you have this spelled right, by the way, because as soon as you rasterize this layer, there's no going back unless you turn it into a smart object, but if you guys don't know how to use that, then don't, please, otherwise you probably could, I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's get going. So, filter, uh, distort, ripple. Oh, that's sheer, I completely misclicked. Distort, ripple, pretty much you want to go ahead and just change your size to small. I think medium is default, so change your size to small. And the amount that you're going to want is going to be 400. So pretty much this will allow this to have a little bit of distort on a ripple on it. So you can see when I press OK, this has a little bit of distort on the text. You can still see the text. You can still see what it says. That's what I'm trying to make sure we have that right there. So 400 is pretty good. And of course, if you finish the end of the video and you want to rewatch it and figure out you know, something you can do differently, this would be the part you would start doing differently. You probably use large, small, medium, whatever you want to do, change the amount. Other than that, what you're going to do is make a duplicate of this one more time. So Control J to make a duplicate of the same layer here. So pretty much we're going to go ahead and just click on the filter, distort, ripple, and we're just going to go ahead and change our amount from 400 this time. We're going to make it all the way to the max, which is 999. So pretty much I'm going to press OK. So they can see we have one uh, text that says, or one layer that says text and it's really distorted. And the other one is very, uh, like not too distorted, but you can still see what it says. So what you're going to do here is you're going to take the one that we just did, which is the 999 one, which is really, really distorted. We're going to, I'm just going to make sure you guys, you know, can see this clearly. I'm this, I'm on the 999, very distorted text. We're going to hold control and we're going to click on the thumbnail, which is this one right here, this little thumbnail right here. You want to click on it. This will select the pixels, or excuse me, it'll select the uh, the solid, uh, the object, I guess, or the shape, whatever's in the layer, that's what it's going to do. It's going to select it, and so you can see it when I uncheck this layer here, you can see that it selected the uh, very high uh, distorted text, and we, if I click on my, or if I unhide my very, you know, minuscule, you know, distorted text here, if I just press delete on my text, or when, on this text layer right here, the first one, boom, it's going to basically take what I have, 991, uh, 99 one, and like, kind of like break it up, and this is what I want. This is what I want to start off with. If you have, if you, if you don't see it in the middle, like the, uh, the like little distort ripples in the middle, then you've done it wrong. You probably have to just flip it and do the opposite way. Uh, other than that, you're ready to go and to uh, continue on. So pretty much, I'm gonna take this uh, backup font. I told you I'm always gonna use this. And I'll make a duplicate of it one more time, and pretty much I'm gonna make the surrounding particles. I guess you can say of the the cool little effect here. So pretty much, I'm gonna take this, rasterize it, and I'm gonna just go to filter. Uh, distort, ripple, and I'm gonna just automatically put it at 999. So pretty much we're gonna have two of these actually. I'm just gonna hide this layer. This is gonna this is our uh, 
this is our base parts. This is the, that step that we did last time. So pretty much we have this right here. We have the duplicated text at 999. So we're gonna do it one more time. I'm actually gonna duplicate it one more time. So Control J, just like so. And then basically we're just gonna take this, go to Filter, Distort, and Ripple. So we're gonna do it uh, another time at uh, max is uh, amount as well. So 999. Press OK. And then so you're gonna have two um, fonts, or it's not two fonts. Excuse me, two whoa like layers that it's one really distorted like see you can see this it says text is very distorted and they have one that's very distorted as well but not as much as it was before so both of these right here are uh duplicated on each other for 999 amount on ripple there we go so pretty much what i'm going to do this time though is i'm going to take the one that's less distorted so which is the uh the opposite of one of this one so this one's very distorted i'm going to take the other one the first one that we did that the first one we applied the ripple effect to i'm going to select this thumbnail so i'm going to hold control select the thumbnail so it selects these particles and I'm going to uncheck this one. I'm going to show you this one. And I'm going to click on this layer. And I'm going to press delete. And there we go. This is going to have us, you know, show the actual surrounding particles. This is going to be more of the, uh, has more, I guess, like, you know, I guess, what would you call it? Like, breaks to it, I guess you would call it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I just said, I guess, like, seven times. I hope you guys understand that. We just want to use these as our particles that surround this base part here. So hopefully you guys didn't get too mixed up. I really, really try to like make it so it's simple. I probably made it look like it's super hard, but I'm just, you know, basically uh, erasing one layer out of another layer. So hopefully you guys get that. So pretty much on this layer though, once you have this set, you wanna just basically press Control F one more time, which is, if you don't know what Control F is, it applies or reapplies the same effect that you did previously, which was Ripple for us as well. So if I just press Control F or uh, I click on Ripple again on the top filter, you can see that this looks like very nice. It looks very compact, like pixels, and it looks very cool. So if I just put this over the base, you can see this is our particles, right? I just, uh, goals, whatever. I spelt it wrong. I, oh my gosh. I'm just, I just see the comments. So I'm just gonna fix it. All right, cool. Um, there we go. This is our particles that are surrounding the base now. So pretty much I'm gonna change the color of this kind of stuff now. So I'm going to my base color. I'm going to change it to this cool little color I have here. And pretty much I'm going to change the particles to that same exact color as well. Boom. And then just something like that. And then I'll just make it a little more green, actually. That looks pretty cool for now. I'll just go with that. So pretty much, we're just, I'm going to rationalize this as well. So once I change my colors, I'm just good to go. I rationalize the layer so I'm, it looks like I didn't change the color at all. But I can always change it again if I wish to, if I just click on it and go to color overlay one more time. So that's all I wanted to do. So pretty much now, I'm going to my particles, I'm going to select particles, get my eraser out, and now uh, you can do this with a pencil if you want to make it really cut, if you want to, like, you know, erase some parts well, but I'm just going to use a simple eraser with a zero hardness, and I'm just going to erase some parts, but I can see the letters, and, like, I just wanted to have a little cool little theme to it, uh, just so it looks like the particles are, like, surrounding it, it looks pretty good, I just wanted to erase a little bit so the particles are not too much, um, I'm going to erase this over here, maybe, Maybe like over here. There we go. Not too much. That looks pretty good. So pretty much, I how many times did I just say pretty much? <laughs> you want to go ahead and select the backup. We want to make sure this is visible now because we're going to actually use this backup and we don't have to actually make a duplicate of this again. So pretty much we can use this one. Oh my gosh. I can tell myself that I'm saying that so many times. All right, cool. We're going to change this layer to uh, overlay just like so. And then we're just going to lower our fill down to about 20 or so. This will give us, uh, This is, we're just trying to make sure that we can get the the font, or excuse me, we can still see the text. We want to be able to still see the word. I really try to focus hard on that because last time I can tell that the Plexus one, some of the comments were really nice and constructive, and he said he can't really see what the word says. So I wanted to make sure this effect was actually showing you guys what the word is saying as well. So uh, now we can just go double click on this, actually. This, uh, the duplicated, or excuse me, our backup layer, uh, which is basically our nice text font that we didn't have distorted or anything. And we're just gonna apply some filters on it. So we're gonna go ahead and just apply, we can apply maybe a stroke on it, like a nice white stroke with z uh, one size, maybe the blend mode on normal. And we're gonna load that down a little bit, why not? And we'll put inner shadow on as well, that'll be cool. Just a little bit. And then we'll put inner glow as well, which is, inner glow is the one you really wanna focus on. So I'm gonna put this on a green, the same green as over here. Maybe I'll put it on white, and I put it on overlay. Yeah, we'll put it on white, the, uh, the inner glow on white. We'll put the blend mode on overlay, and we will go ahead and just up the size a bit, just like so. This is what I want. All right, cool. So the inner glow, inner shadow, and stroke is pretty much all I'm going to really do on this uh, layer style. I'm going to press OK, and then we're going to go ahead, press OK, and we're going to go ahead and change our base and our uh, particles layer styles as well. So we're just going to go ahead and click on double-click on base really, uh, really quickly, 
and we're gonna use outer glow and I'm gonna just go ahead and lower my size down and I'm gonna change this to the green that I have as the text just like so I'll up the size just a little bit that looks pretty good I'll, I'll lower the uh, the opacity so I'm just gonna put an overlay or excuse me an outer glow on both the base and the particles I'm gonna do this over here as well for the particles outer glow and we'll use this color over here and we'll go ahead and up the size a bit just like so lower the opacity down press ok and there we go we have a very cool little I don't know if you more the more time you take on this the cooler it looks and I think I would have I kind of wish I kept more particles around this but all I think all around it looks pretty gosh darn good I really do like the outcome now if you guys want to do anything else differently if you want to go ahead and maybe add like a little like I'm just gonna make a new layer above everything I'm gonna use a brush I'm actually gonna change the color of my foreground color to white that way I can just select this I'm gonna change this uh, this layer style by the way to nor uh, overlay from normal I'm gonna put on overlay and I'm gonna click around just in some spots to make it glow there we go and I'm gonna take the rectangle marquee tool just because I know my text is very boxy if yours is not boxy you might have to use a pen tool to do it so I'm just gonna do the top with the, uh, the rectangle marquee tool which is pressing M on your keyboard for the shortcut or just clicking over here the rectangle marquee tool and on this layer we want to still drag and we want to kind of erase or I don't want it to glow outside of the text so I'm just gonna erase just like so mm, up down here too and then just because I know I need it, I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a pen tool. Just in case you guys had to use a pen tool, I'm just gonna basically go ahead and like go around the part that's very like glowing that I don't want to glow. I don't want it to glow inside the letters. I just want to glow in like or I don't want it to glow outside the letters. I want it to glow only inside the letters. So I'm gonna right click, make selection when I close the path and I have the part that I have selected I don't want. Press OK and press delete. And there we go. We'll do the same thing over here. Uh, there we go and then over here. And then over here, I kind of like this little effect that I have on this T to the X. I'm going to keep that there, but I'm going to take the eraser now. I'm just going to erase a little bit. I don't want too much glow. I just want it in like very nice, significant spots, just like so. And there we go. Now we have the text looking on really nice. And there you guys see it's a very cool, like, I don't know, it just stands out to me. I really do like this effect. And of course, the more time you took on it or take on it, the more cooler it looks. So I have this one here. I took a lot more time on this one. And I just I just really, really do like how it comes out. So please, guys, don't forget to leave a like, all that crazy stuff. I hope you guys, please, leave a like. If you guys really want me to keep this series, keep liking it, keep giving it crazy support. I love trying to show you guys original text effects. It's one of probably the, like, the best things I have on my channel right now. It's really it's overall me it's very fun to do so thank you guys so much for that and thank you guys also for 43k uh it's actually cool we hit it almost two days ago so i i, I freaking love you guys it's awesome and i i just can't wait i can't wait to see what comes up next you know 50k maybe i think hopefully you know maybe a couple months i uh, thank you guys so much let's switch you out peace